Hello, my name is Dolores Whitman and I'm a concerned citizen. I am concerned about the amount of influence that corporations have on our government. I have recently found some specific information that applies to us here in the state of Ohio that I would like to share with you. This is an excerpt from the New York Times, February 12th, 2012. Quote, it is no coincidence that so many state legislatures have spent the last year taking the same destructive actions, making it harder for minorities and other groups that support Democrats to vote, obstructing health care reform, weakening environmental regulations, and breaking the spines of public and private sector unions. All of these efforts are being backed by a little-known conservative organization financed by millions of corporate dollars. The American Legislative Exchange Council, better known as ALEC, was founded in 1973 by the right-wing activist Paul Weyrich. Its big funders include ExxonMobil, the Olin and Scaife families, and foundations tied to Coke Industries. Many of the largest corporations are represented on its board. To learn more about ALEC, I went to the website alecexposed.org. And from that page, there is a link to an in-depth analysis of the effect of ALEC on Ohio. It's called ALEC in Ohio. This is a 50-page report, and it provides documentation that 33 ALEC-inspired bills were introduced in Ohio between January and October of 2011. Nine of those bills became law. Those laws covered private prisons, the health care amendment, consumer rights, open contracting act, the infamous SB5, immigration, voter ID, tax credits to donors to private schools, and innovative schools. The report compares wording in the ALEC model bill with the wording that appeared in the final legislation to show the direct connection. Alex has tax-exempt 501c3 status. It charges its nearly 300 member corporations between $7,000 and $25,000 a year to be members and adds on another $2,500 to $10,000 for each task force they wish to participate in. Legislators from across the country can apply for scholarships to attend conferences. The scholarships are paid for by corporate sponsors. Otherwise, the ALEC membership fee is just $50, but these scholarships enable the legislators and their families to attend conferences. Now, at these conferences, legislators and corporate representatives participate as equals on the task forces that prepare model bills that are voted on and eventually become official ALEC model bills. ALEC boasts that each year close to 1,000 bills based at least in part on ALEC model legislation are introduced in the state legislatures. Of these, approximately 17% become law. The conferences sponsored by ALEC provide an opportunity to wine and dine legislators and their families at the expense of the interested corporations or their lobbying firms. The report, ALEC in Ohio, lists attendees at the 2010 and 2011 conferences. Here's a quote from Representative John Adams thanking the lobbying firm Dunn & Associates. Quote, because of your help and others like you, the trip to ALEC was made possible for our legislators. 
With information that is disseminated at these meetings, my desire is that the legislature will pass and repeal laws to make Ohio a much more business-friendly state. After all, when your business is a success, it benefits all of Ohio. Dunn & Associates is the lobbying firm for ALEC members AT&T and Cardinal Health. Representative John Adams is majority whip for the Ohio House and decides what bills will move forward. No wonder nine of the 17 uh, introduced in Ohio in 2011 made it through. Governor John Kasich's ties to ALEC go back to its early years. In 1977, he was an aide to Ohio State Senator Donald Buzz Lukens, who later became the longest-serving national chairman of ALEC. Is it coincidence that Ohio's Lake Erie Correctional Institute was bought by Corrections Corporation of America? CCA participated in ALEC's Public Safety and Education Task Force for two decades. CCA has since resigned from the task force after receiving negative publicity about its involvement with the numerous model bills passed by ALEC, which encouraged privatizing prisons and increasing sentences. As of January 2012, 57 Ohio legislators are ALEC members. One of them is a Democrat, who now maintains he is no longer a member. Both Representative Bruce Goodwin and Senator Cliff Height are members. I strongly recommend that those of you who are interested in finding out more about this important topic, go to the website alecexposed.org. Thanks for your time.